What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy, Ray here, with another one. Shout out to Jen for the dono, girl. Locksmith? Another one? Facts. Let him sleep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let him sleep. He had a long night. Let him sleep. <laughs> okay. Locksmith. Locksmith, one of the dopest uh, uh, lyrical rappers out there, man. And, and, and you guys know how I feel about lyrical rap. Like, I don't, I'm not, I hate list. I hate top fives. I hate top tens. I hate all that. I like to enjoy each artist for what they do. And my my niche in hip hop is lyrical rap. That's my niche. Lyrical rap is different from street rap and club music and shit like that. It, it, they, we have different aspects of hip hop and rap, but I chose the lyrical part of it. I believe that's the purest and the truest form of hip hop is that lyrical stuff, that, that wordplay and, and, and this, these Olympic tricks that these guys do with these words and phrases and sentences that you just don't like understand. How is it possible that you could come up with something like that? And I believe Locksmith is one of those dudes that you could put on that list. Like, like my list goes a mile long. Uh, more than a mile long of all these rappers that were introduced to me and when I started doing YouTube that lyrically are so amazing that should, that, that should be on that list. So, Locksmith absolutely, absolutely is one of those ones that you could put in that list of, whoa, this guy could rap. So, Jen, I appreciate every time you donate for me to do a Locksmith I, I appreciate it. I get so busy and so cut up with a bunch of other stuff that that I, I need to pull back a little bit. Be like, oh, okay. We need to focus more on these type of dudes because Locksmith is one of them ones, bro. That's a fact. Federico, cut the beat. You could leave. Locksmith, let him sleep. It's on you. Better check your pedigree. Better check your self-respect and self-assess your legacy. I don't stress the pettiness unless it's bread and lettuce. -y. Don't invest in window dress. I rip my set obsessively. I don't let it rest with me. Looking back, that's whole shit. I control my destiny. Oh man, hold on. You're not gonna do this just no. What day is it? It's, it's Tuesday, bro. Like, damn, you can't be doing this on a Tuesday, bro. You can't. This is a Friday vibe, block. David. I, talk, I call you by your government. Say something. Dave. Go ahead. Rest the pettiness and less is bread and lettuce. Right. I don't invest in window dress. I rip my set obsessively. I don't let it rest with me. Looking back, that's whole shit. I control my destiny. Let them sleep. I'm bold, bitch. Woo. Let them sleep. I'm home, bitch. When shit is steep, I kick up my feet. I don't fold shit. Mm. I'm a big vibe. All you do is dick ride. You niggas is bitch made. You are not a trick god. You are not. You heard what he said? He big vibe, man. They call me big vibe sometimes, but they call you big vibe too. I'm not selfish. You can, you can use it sometimes. Can I use it on weekends? Can I use it on weekends and you use it on the week on the weekdays, Monday to Friday from five from from seven to five? I'm just saying, man, you call yourself better. You call and you told somebody else to go fuck themselves. That, that's crazy. All you do is dick ride. You niggas is bitch made. You are not a trick guy. <laughs> right. You are not a threat to me in any way you describe. Woo. You should disregard rap and piss inside your diss drive. I don't wear disguise. I despise the falsity. If we rely on his lies and his why the cost is steep. Right. If we support the garbage, we absolve the heap. It only makes it worse for the artists that use their boss to speak. Talk to them. Talk to them. Say that shit again, though. He, everybody in the back need to hear that shit. You are shit. not a trick god. You are not a threat to me in any way you describe. You should disregard rap and piss inside your diss drive. I don't wear disguise. I despise the falsity. If we rely on his lies and his why the cost is steep. If we support the garbage, we absorb the heap. It only makes it worse for the artists that use their boss to speak. Mm, that's a fact, though. Because if you let these niggas... Coming in here and start showing about the flash and the stupidity and, 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 and just and, and, and all that bullshit, and we uh, uh, we approve of it and we don't say nothing about it and everything is gonna make it for the real niggas 
the re- motherfuckers that are like Glocksmith, they really talk about what's really going on, about how we need to fix ourselves and, and all that positivity shit. And you want to call it woke? And I don't. I don't really call that woke. He's awoke. He's wake. He's awakened already. Don't give it a slander like that. Don't even give it a word. He being real about what's going on, about about what needs to be done. Y'all niggas ain't paying attention though. All the motherfuckers that got the balls to say the truth about what's really going on, those are the ones that look are getting looked funny. Those are the ones that, oh my goodness, oh uh, man, man, fuck all that. These are the ones that we gotta listen to, man. I've said it, I've said it many times, bro. In rap, there's a lot of different levels of rap, bro. A lot of different levels. And I focus more on lyrical than I focus on anything else. I don't, I don't care about club music like that. That street music shit, that's cool. I, I, I live somewhat that life, and i already seen it, and, and I, I don't want to hear it in all my music either. So I, I'm good on that. It's good. I love it. It's it's part of, it's part of, uh, of rap. But I, my main two go-to is lyrical. And majority of the lyrical rappers almost closely have the same mindset on how it's supposed to be. Right, we see the defects of hip hop, of what's going on, and, and all the changes that has been made, and how a lot of these dudes start to become real bitch like, and sensitivity, and and, and 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 trigger words, and all this other stupid shit that you want to throw at me. Listen to me, motherfuckers. I'm gonna say this way: you can say, "Oh, look at this grandpa. Oh, this grandpa is talking. Oh, this ain't your time no more, grandpa. You have to go with the with the times, grandpa." No, I don't, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. No, the fuck I don't. No, I don't. I don't gotta follow no trend. I ain't gotta follow nothing that I don't want to follow. I give you, I, 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 I shut up and I give you the right to say whatever you want to say because you have the right to say it. I'm not trying to stop you from doing whatever you want to do. You do what you do, boo boo. I ain't going to stop you. Not at all. But I'm going to speak my mind. And if you don't like it, it is what it is. The same way I don't like the things, some things people say, and I, I and I don't like so I voice my opinion. Because if I have to hear your bullshit, you're going to have to hear my bullshit. Don't let me talk my bullshit. Lyrical rap is getting lost. And we need it to come back. You know, it, it, had, it had a rise not too long ago. It had a rise, but then it dipped back down. We started going back into the bullshit. I love my, my 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 age range. I love the age that I'm in right now. I love that I was able to witness maybe the best time in hip hop. I was able to live. I was able to grow with the way it was. So, no, I don't have to go with the times. I could appreciate the times. I could appreciate the new ways that people are doing it and everything, but nothing's going to change the mindset that hip hop gave me when I first started listening to it. Nothing's going to change. Then in order for you to be that real nigga, you got to be a man of your word. You got to keep it a buck. And you're not about no fuck shit. The certain line of respect that, that we that we have for each other because we went through the toughest times and we also went through the best times in hip hop. So I think we know a little thing or two about what the fuck this is supposed to be like. So for all the Gen Z's, W's, X, Y, Z's that are out there, fuck you and your mother. 
If my resolve was weak, I could have been on the short end. I could have resigned, I could have been fine and got in the bed with your trends. The industry niggas you posing in pictures that never were your friends. So I take it personal, hopping from terminals, burning a candle from both ends. I don't buy into the coke hymns, I don't believe in your boasting. I got a relevant catalog, spoken and wrote it with no pen. I bring it out from the soul end, nobody here can expose him. Niggas is famous for everything other than rapping and that's what it goes in. Right, right. Everybody, they all famous. They're all famous. All of them are famous. But not for what they're supposed to be famous for. Did it not a little bit crazy? Or is it just me? He's speaking straight up facts, bro. He's speaking straight up facts. People just not, not gonna hear it. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna act like it shit doesn't exist. And the shit is not going crazy, and the shit's going crazy, and and we need something, something to stop it. Uh, we need something to stop it, bro. I just miss old hip hop. That's all it is. Not, and, and you know, I, I you know, I exaggerate and I talk shit, but there are a lot of positivities in this, in the new age right now in, in this in this genre of music in this in this thing you know that I was exposed to, you know, and it's like, wow, there are still good independents out there there's still good independent artists out there that, that are really trying to bring back the old school trying to bring back that old school feel like you know lights of of up church adam calhoun ren uh, uh tom mcdonald uh, uh you name them larry belafonte k legend clint monster montana one take come on we could go for days we could go for days on these independent artists that, that have their pulse still back to the old school hip hop, to that old feeling, that shit that every song that that, that, that that gets played today in 2024, that came from our generation. That fear, we still get it. The goosebumps, we still get it. It transfers us back to that time. That's what music is about. It's, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's background music to your life. And we have these independent artists that 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 are trying to do it, that are trying to bring it back, and, and, and trying to trying to show the world how what the independent artist uh, our campaign is about, man. It, it, it's a beautiful thing. We they have the independent artists. They have their own beefs and their own sh shit that they going through back and forth with each other, and and, that, and that's good if it, if it's. If the main objective of it is to better your sword, I will I will a hundred percent promote that. I will a hundred percent follow it and, and, and really dive into it because it's getting back to the core of what it's supposed to be, and that's supposed to be who is the better rapper. And that's it. That's the argument. That there's no other argument. There's no other drama. This. He say, she say, whatever the fucking case is, though, who cares? Who gives a fuck? It's who is the better rapper? When it comes down to it being that, and that's it, and whoever wins at the end of it, that's the winner, and that's all we could do about it. That's it. You can't. Don't bitch about it after. Don't, don't complain about it after. Don't do 300 videos about it after. That's the winner. That's it. If we could ever get it to a point where it could get like that, I'm all for the 110%. But we don't. We take shit too personal. Shit gets crazy. People start doing 150 million videos about a certain situation. And, and, and But no one's paying attention to the music. That's my problem. That's the problem that I have right now. It, it's not It's not the hip-hop that I grew up with. And, and it, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's 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 honestly fucking sad to be honest with you. It's fucking sad to see it go like that. And uh, it, it, it's whatever, bro. It's whatever. I, I grew up watching it completely different. I did. I wasn't mainstream, so that Tupac and Biggie stuff doesn't mean it, it means a lot to me. It, it's a bad loss. We should have not lost them them two for over bullshit, and, and that's a fact. But that's why I was more focused on the underground than anything else. I was I was focused even back in the day. I was focused more into underground than I was focused at to the mainstream shit. Yeah, I'll listen to my Wu Tang and M and and Fifty and all that. Yes, I'll listen to all that. Cool, 
but my attention was more, yo, I'm gonna go about three blocks down real quick. They're about to battle. Yo, they're about to do a cipher. Yo, this dude is in the recording studio. He's about to do his mixtape. He's about to record it tonight. Yo, you want to join? You want to you know, smoke up, drink, and you just hang out just to see the product? Yeah, let's go. Boom. That's where I'm from. I wasn't really ma- I wasn't really into that mainstream bullshit like that. That's where I'm from. That's where my cloth was ri- was grown from. Point blank. The independent artists are trying their best to get this this music heard. This, so so the masses, the masses. Like I don't let people like oh like oh. Uh, you know, these independent artists, they got 1 million, 2 million, 3 million followers. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then the, the a rapper that is a hundred, ten, a hundred times less talented, a hundred times less talented than that independent artist that's got 3 million followers has got 20 million followers. You see the difference? That's what I talk about the masses. We need to get them to that level. So like that, the ones underneath, the ones that are coming up now, to jump, to have that lane to jump and get all these millions of views and, and, and be independent and be able to do what they love to do. Isn't that what we're doing this for? But nah, y'all yeah, rather watch a video with some bullshit to talk about drama and all that other stuff. When facts come out, that's when niggas start fucking, I don't know, I'm great at the one. He's, he's writing the fence. I ain't writing the fence. I don't give a fuck because it's not, it's not what I believe it should be i is not what i think what rap and hip-hop and and, and hip-hop beefs and all this other shit is supposed to be it's supposed to be about the music it's supposed to be who's the fucking best put it in the words don't say nothing that's what it's supposed to be it's one of the reasons why i respect eminem 100 percent. eminem is not on twitter talking shit to people Every single fucking day. He's not posting videos every single fucking day talking crap about somebody else that said something about him. He's not doing anything. You know what he does? He leaves it in the lyrics. He puts it in in his songs. He puts it in his words. The way he puts it together. And then when he's done saying it, after that, he'll just poke fun at that point. Now he'll just have fun with it. Because now you're taking it to a level that you think that I'm that fucking concerned about what you think. I gave you your little shine. I talked about you in one of my songs. Take that shine, make as much money as you want from it. And then from this point on, I'm just going to start doing this. And I'm just going to start jabbing you in, in my songs. 20 years could pass by and I still jab you, Ja Rule. And that's how you do it. That's how, that's that's the cloth that I'm from, from where Eminem's cloth is from. Like that, the exact cloth. It's like, I'm going to keep it in the words. I'm not going to be sitting here every single day talking about you. Point blank, I'm not. It's not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste my energy on that. I'm gonna use that energy and I'm gonna put it in the words and destroy you. And he's done it time and time again. So, 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 when you're really listening to hip hop and you're really listening to this shit, no, like eighty percent of the people are not listening to it for what it's for. They're listening to it for the drama, for the bullshit, and and and, and the bias. That's what they're listening it for. I want no part of that hip hop. I don't want to be part of that hip hop, and I don't, I don't care if that gets more views than what I do. I don't care. It's never going to be the way it used to be, unless you're watching battle rap, and that's why I focus more on battle rap. On my spare time, I listen to that a lot more than anything else, because I want I, I like the competition. I like the going back and forth, the different word patterns, and everything. That's what I'm in it for. So when a person like Locksmith comes out and starts talking facts and start talking about what needs to be done, how hip hop is right now, and all this other shit, people are not really gonna pay too mind too much mind to it. We go, here you go, this nigga preaching again. Because you we got that mindset now. We got that here comes this nigga preaching again, uh uh-uh, uh mindset. And, and and we throw it under the rug like it didn't it doesn't mean that much. And it's very few, and, and, and I just found this out that it's very few people that think this way about hip hop like I do. They, they're, they're, there are a lot out there, 
but very, very few in between. Very few in between. And that's how I know it. We will never get a base. The numbers are too high. The numbers are way too high. There's people that, that, that listen to just one artist and think that they're the best artist in the world, but doesn't listen to nothing else from that genre of music. Like, how can you say that? How can you say he's the best rapper in the world when you don't listen to nobody but that person? How are you judging that off of? To you, you like him because you see a reflection of you in him. So that's why you'll say that. But is that a fact? No, that's not a fact. It's not a fact at all. That's your fact. That's your fact. I'm, I'm not here to f- go facts with, with feelings. That You're never going to get a good debate from facts and feelings. It's never going to work out right. I've talked enough. <laughs> Go ahead, Lyle. When I start smoking, and you start talking about this shit. When you respect, what you think was going to happen? Huh? Did you read the beginning of the video? Then you shouldn't be saying nothing. A relevant catalog, spoken and wrote it with no pen. I bring it out from the soul in. Nobody here can expose him. Niggas is famous for everything other than rapping, and that's what it goes in. So how do we even it out? How can you niggas do interviews? Give us your list, believe in him out. How can you say that you give back when all of your raps are bleeding us out? How can you rap about modesty? Honestly, I think you're making a breach now. I don't believe in your campaign. I don't concede to your plan fame. You selling verses on IG. That shit is tacky and mad lame. You get it. Selling verses in IG. That shit is tacky and mad lame. Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot lately, though. A lot of these mainstream motherfuckers. A lot of them are talking about, yo... You, you see what they throwing out there? M and, and, and Royce the 5'9 and all D12 talk about if you want a verse for, with M and the, Like, why y'all niggas giving verses away for? So I'm, I'm looking at it in, in two different eyes. I'm looking at it at two different eyes. I'm looking at, is this a way to help the independent artists come up just by having that name attached to their name? Because if that's the whole purpose of this, hundred percent. I'm all for it. Let's do that. That's good. I would love mainstream artists, people to come down with a big following, big name and big, uh, you know, uh, 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 tours and shit like that. I would love somebody to take an independent artist and say, hey, check this guy out. This guy is good. Not necessarily sign him or anything like that. But hey, right now in the independent scene. This is the top, this is one of the top dudes in the independent scene. Let's give this dude some light, you know, boom. Show him a little bit, show him a little bit of light so he could get his paper up, so get a little bit more followers, you know, start generating and help his independent career. I'm all for that 100%. Why not? That that, that is the smartest thing to do. Why not join both mainstream? Well, that's, that's smart. But don't try to fish niggas in. And then sign them on something that they can't get out of. Kind of like a gotcha type shit. Don't do that. So so the, the, there's, a, there's a bunch of different ways you can look at that situation. And why, what's the, what's the grand scheme behind them doing that? I believe, my whole heart, my whole heart believe when a mainstream artist comes down and grabs an independent artist, a couple independent artists, and works with those independent artists, is to help those independent artists. Snoop Dogg does it. Joyner does it. Royce does it. M is doing it. So so I wholeheartedly believe, because these are dudes that love hip-hop. You see, you have to see who are the people that are doing it. These are the people that, that, that grew up in this, that are real, real students of the game, that really love it for what it is, for the lyrical and, 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 and the rapping and, and the technique and all that. Those are the ones that are all like that. So they're the ones throwing out the hey, come here, I got you. Let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some light real quick to help you grow a little bit in your independent career. I wholeheartedly think that's why you know, a lot of these mainstream artists are coming down and helping these independents. I believe so, a hundred percent, because it has, because the proof is behind it. You've seen a lot of these artists get a boost just because they were affiliated with this mainstream artist you see it all the time so i don't think it's a bad thing that that's happening but i could also see where people could be like oh that shit's kind of fucked up 
because this, that, and the third. I could, I could see that. I wholeheartedly can see it in both ways. I believe that it's on, 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 on good terms on helping the independent artist. That's what I think. You could debate me if you want, but there, there's, there's a lot of things that. Let's bring up Eminem and Easy Mill. Let, let, let's bring that up. There's a lot of artists. I've been following Easy Mill before Eminem even knew who he was. And I've been, I've been seeing his his career when he went to Sony in, in, uh, in the Philippines and all that, even before that when it was all 100% independent. I, I, I saw it all, and I saw the growth. And I see Easy Mill now. And Easy Meal now got a lot more energy. Easy Meal now got he you could see where that changed his life completely for the better. He's opening up restaurants and it, and it, come on, it's a lot of things that this kid is doing right now, and it was a lot to do with that cosign. It's a lot of people that contact me. Oh my God, I just I just heard of Easy Meal because he got with M, and oh shit. I didn't know that you knew who he was. You have all these reactions of him. Yo, he's, he, I've never heard, if it wasn't for him, I would have never heard of him. And that's the point. That's the point. Do I see the easy mail change from when he was, I've seen all his interviews. I, I follow him very, very deep just because I don't comment about it. I respect him as an artist very, very much so. And I have never seen his energy change, even when he signed with Shady. I haven't seen that. He's still the same kid. So it's all depending what the names are involved in this situation. But I hardly believe all of it is to help out the independent artists. So I don't agree with it, but it's fire the way he did it, though. I don't concede to your plan fame You selling verses on IG That shit is tacky and mad lame You get a city a bad name You can't compete, it's a damn shame You think you actually rap on my level Did somebody sell him a bad strain? I got Ooh. the kind of persona that I don't comply That man said, what you smoking, bro? You smoking that nasty weed That Reggie You smoking that Reggie Don't lie, don't lie You think you actually rap on my level Did somebody sell him a bad strain? I got the kind of persona that I don't comply Rely on another man I know that money and hype is a part of the plight They both go hand in hand From the past, Barry, I'ma take all of the artists you hawk in the car. I'm giving my seed, you surrogate. You got the nerve to be arrogant. I had a thought, let's do an experiment. I put a gun in your head, tell you to rap, would you make it out of embarrassment? I never yeah. perish from parody. I use the music as part of my therapy. There will be blood if you sub, you blatantly speak out a term you determine to pair me. Study my script like a Pharisee. Where is he? Probably somewhere to disparage me. Heresy, none of you dudes compared to me. I need some clarity. Look, deep in the bag, I'ma leap with the pad. I'ma leap you and lag. I'ma leap you and laugh. I'ma leave you and pass. I'ma lead you and mass. I'ma need you to ask any reason to clash. I'm stop, stop, stop. Man, stop! Oh my God! I'm gonna leak to the bathroom. He did the bathroom. He did the. I relax. It's like I I heard everything, but I can't repeat nothing that he fucking said. Hold on. I'm gonna leak you and lag. I'm gonna leak you and laugh. I'm gonna leave you and pass. I'm gonna lead you and mass. I'm gonna need you to ask any reason to clash. I made a point to protect my integrity. I will not wait for a person to threaten me. I'm gonna go first and expose what is worse because I know what is. And that's the thing. There's a lot of people that their, their integrity don't mean nothing to them, so it's easy for them to fucking sell their shit to do some stuff, some dumb fuck. So it's easy, but. When your integrity is intact and, and your heart's behind behind everything you do and you do everything for the right reasons and you have the right people around you and, you, and you're and you not over here bar hopping and clubbing and doing all this crazy shit and drinking and going to, to certain parties and shit like that, don't put yourself in a position where you have to be that dude. Keep it 100 always. Don't lose your integrity. Keep your morals intact. And keep it moving. But greed and jealousy is a bad combination to have. As a person, it's horrible. Because that means when you see something that is trending or that you want, your greed will help you do anything possible to get that just because that person in your mind shouldn't deserve it and you deserve it more. So greed is a very strong monster. 
where they'll see things like morals and common sense as stupid things to have. Things that is not important. Nah, fuck that. That's stopping me from getting the bat. You crazy? No, you're dumb. That greed got you. That green iron monster took you and said, come here. It's gonna hurt. Man. That's why I fuck with Locksmith, bro. I made a point to protect my integrity. I will not wait for a person to threaten me. I'm gonna go first and expose what is worse because I know what is worse because I rose from the dirt. Yeah. Right. Better check your pedigree. Better check your self respect and self assess your legacy. Woo. I don't stress the pettiness unless it's bread and lettuce. -y. Don't invest in window dress. I rep my set obsessively. I don't let it rest with me. Looking back, that's whole shit. I control my destiny. I like, I like sleep, the beat, I'm though. The beat bitch. is fire, though. Let him sleep. I'm home, bitch. When shit is steep, I kick up my feet. I don't fall shit. I love the beat. It's flowing cadences on this whole fucking thing was crazy. And that's what I talk about. His cadences, man, his word structure, his his, his, his his metaphors, everything that he's done on this track is a definition of what I talk about. A real lyrical OG rapper. Gotta put him in that in that in that Mount Rushmore, bro. I don't my Mount Rushmore, like I said before in many of my videos. I don't have a four-headed Mount Rushmore. I have a whole mountain full of goats. Why not? Put them up there, man. They all goats in their own ways, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I appreciate the dono, Jen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got one more video for tonight. And then after that, I'm going right to live so we could do the Tesseract review. I haven't done no, no intro for it or nothing, so I got work to do. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. Peace.